Hi YouTube, I just left the NACA Achieve the Dream event. Shout out to my new, my two followers that I saw. One got approved. Go you, go you. I'm happy for you. And the other one was in the line waiting for me for counseling. So I don't know what was the status of that. But I went for a counseling checkup myself. And unfortunately, I'm, I'm sorry to say that I won't be approved until May of 2020. The reason why I won't be approved is because of my maternity leave when 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 I left work October of 2018 um, I was on maternity leave but I took another job that's paying me much more money and NACA doesn't do um, NACA doesn't do more than 30 day extension um, gaps but what I was told is that if my husband has two years, I could go and use my income. However, that information was wrong. A lot of people give wrong information. That information was wrong. I have to be working for one year for my income to count towards my husband's income. And my husband doesn't make enough by himself. For us to qualify they she just qualified me a while ago for a $500 house payment I don't know what mortgage in the world you pay $500 a month so it's not possible so I just sat there and got all the information that I could get for me to be ready for next year um, when I put our information in me and my husband around about estimate of 356,000 we qualified for we qualified for but that's an estimate and um, the factors like buying down my interest rate and my rental rental income because I'm gonna be um, doing a two family so buying down my interest rate rental income is gonna higher but because since we're non-priority members um, we cannot buy in a census tract that's 99.7 percent or higher so we have to remember NACA is geared towards stabilizing in um, neighborhoods so they kind of gear towards lower income earners so because we are high income earners um, they have limited us to a lower census track but to God be the glory we're gonna do our research because we really need a good school district for our daughter so anybody out there drop me in the comments um, where I could buy because I need a good school district for my daughter in Connecticut or New York and for those of you who plans to get approved and then move to a different state you have to get requalified in that state and you have to be, you have to work 6 months so those of you who plan to move that that that's something to think about all in all um i got here 3 o'clock i i got out around 8 so i think i waited for like 3 hours but today is Thursday, June 27th. I'll be back on Saturday, um, June, June 29th to volunteer. But I just came here early today, today to just see what I should do um, moving forward. And payment shock, y'all. Payment shock. It's confusing, but to sum it up, your account should be growing by your payment shock every month so your account should be growing if it's a hundred dollars is your payment shock 
every month your account should be growing by a hundred dollars every month your account should be growing by one hundred dollars so if you have multiple bank accounts all those bank accounts must be growing by your payment shock and and some so say for instance I have two accounts I have four accounts I have a house account that I opened an account for my daughter and one account that um, my paychecks go into but when my money comes I funnel out the account the monies to all different accounts my payment shop money they're like they won't use that they like NACA will only see that that you're shifting money around so NACA sometimes they'll say that you're shifting money around so all your accounts need to grow by your payment shock which is a hundred dollars and some which could be two dollars five dollars based on what the expla explanation that I was given so that's 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 what was said a lot changed a lot changed and um, it would be beneficial for us to sit through another intake session um, for all of us who are in the house the intake session we need to um, volunteer at a, a event an intake session event that's a new thing that was changed the the thing with the median income thing that was changed so basically y'all download the new book the new book on their website downloaded a lot of things was rewritten a lot of things was changed so just to be informed but I'm sad that I was pushed back until May of next year but no worries I, I it, it's just I could save money buy pay down debt and be in a better, better position so it's a benefit it's a benefit and my train is here and I'm going to take the train commute all the way back to Bridgeport and do this again on Saturday until then I'll see you guys and I was so happy to my one of my followers that got approved congrats again and I saw another follower so yes I'm happy for you guys and good night